Since Tyler posted that picture of me doing Murph in our garage, a lot of people have asked me what I've been doing or um, what I had done to make the progress that I have. So I thought I'd make this little video to just kind of tell you what I've done. Um, in the end of January, I was realizing that it was, I had just turned 35 and I just realized that if I was going to get stronger, if I was going to lose this little bit of baby fat that I still carried around after three years, I needed to make some changes. And so I went to Tyler and I said, what can I do to lose this baby fat? What can I do to, to look different, be stronger than I was, you know, my first 35 years? And he said, in order to lose the fat, you have to build the muscle. And I've heard that before, but it's so much easier to jump on a treadmill and, you know, try to lose the fat versus actually focusing on building the muscle, which is going to act like a furnace to burn, to use the fat as fuel to, um, as, as to, to burn the fat. And so he put me on this mass building program and it was very simple. It was five days a week. I was in the gym. Monday was, you know, you worked on certain body parts. Tuesday, you worked on certain body parts all the way through the week. So it was the same routine, but every week, individually, I would decide how I was going to increase the weight. And it did get boring. It was February through March. It did get really boring, but I really started to focus more on, like I said, the increasing the weight to be challenging because I think a lot of people... Um, they tend to go into the gym and they go through the motions and not be challenged. And it's in those challenges, in those struggles where you find progress. So I wanted to make sure that after every workout, I was sweating. My, my muscles were shaking because then I knew that I was actually building muscle. And another thing that I did was I really focused on my nutrition. Because nutrition is actually the foundation of sport. And... When I was mass building, I was doing 55% carbs, which is an insane amount. I was eating 2,600 calories a day. I would grab for things like um, gluten-free noodles was a big one with pesto and grain-free bread and lots of oatmeal, baked oatmeal, um, granola, just trying to get in all my carbs. It was very, very difficult. I, and also speaking with a lot of um, fellow CrossFitters, trying to find their secrets, sweet potatoes, you know, things like that, um, and also my nutritionists. So then after March, I was experiencing what they call, you know, gaining time, making gains. I felt so fat. I had weighed more than I ever weighed. I had cellulite in all places. I didn't think I'd have cellulite. And those um, those things made me felt like I was failing in what I was doing. I just wasn't doing it right. So I went back to Tyler and I said, what am I doing wrong? And he said, nothing. You just have to trust the process. You're going to go through this time. That's why they call it making gains. But that weight that you're gaining is not the fat, it's the muscle. I didn't really believe him at first. So then fast forward a little bit to April and May, he said, now we're going to do CrossFit. I want you to do CrossFit five days a week. I was also doing uh, Ramwad. Went into the gym, did, just did what was on the board every single day. And I changed my macros to 40, 30, 30, so 40% carbs. So I did cut back and I increased my fat and protein. And um, that's when I started seeing the results. I my cellulite kind of went away this middle this baby fat middle that so many women talk about and struggle with it just it went away not completely I'm still working on it but it it, it went away significantly faster um, than anything that I had ever tried in the past and I think that um, actually shredding starting from the gains then going to the shredding you know definitely did and really zeroing on what I ate Measuring everything, tracking everything with my fitness pal, um, that just really helped. So I hope that my experience um, can inspire and educate and um, maybe push people to maybe try it. Trust the process because it really does work. It's, it's not a miracle secret. It is really just focusing on what you're eating, really focusing on what you're eating, whole quality foods, and enough calories, so many people don't eat enough calories, or they think that in order to um, build muscle that all they have to eat is protein. 
carbs, you need so many carbs when you're building muscle. And also consistency. People think that if they go two or three times a week that they're gonna get the you know, great results and then they go out and binge on the weekend and they're wondering why they're not making gains. It's because it, you need to be consistent in your lifestyle. Eating right, working out consistently, consistence, consistently. That's, that's really all there is to it. So I hope this has helped. Thanks.